to windmills of my hair. Today I want to talk about bob pins. They're not just for updos anymore. <laughs> These are so cool. I've used them a bunch of times and I'm only left with three pink and four brown. But the brown is like a leopard. Can you see it? Or just kind of like speckled gold. And I haven't tried spray painting um, regular bob pins or anything like that yet. I don't know if that'll work. I don't know how crafty I am. But they make them, so you don't have to. Anyway, I like to take my bob pins out of the package and kind of lay them out in front of me. Because sometimes, you know, your hands get full and just it's easier. And I like these ones from CVS because they're like, um, they're their brand, Beauty 360, because they're not full of a bunch of ridges and they're not um, so hard that they like hurt. Because some of them do, and I don't like that. So what I brought along to do different designs is um, my Living Proof Control Hairspray, which I like because it's very light. And I bought this cute little John Frieda frizz control. I think this stuff is like, what is it? Uh, I don't know, it's hairspray. And this hairspray is like harder than the the other one, you know, than the living poop. Because the living So anyway, just like part your hair wherever and know for a fact that if your hair is not freshly colored when you start to do some of the lifting and positioning of these bob pins, your roots are going to show. So for me, that can be a problem. So anyway, I like it smooth because it shows off the bob pin thing going on a lot better. And I comb it out, and then I like mist it, and I like to pick up a chunk and make sure I kind of get the ends and stuff. And definitely, you definitely want to show the bob pin for this, so. Well, that's not working out. What did I do? It's kind of dark in here. Oh, it twisted. Yes, be careful because these can slide from side to side instead of up like they're supposed to go. So that was just not good. Okay, and so I'm getting one here. Now you can have this pointy thing come up like this or face down. And you can alternate them, not just in color, but you can alternate this part and this soft part. But it's really cool if you make like a pattern. So if you have them side by side like that, that they like parallel, they're both going the right way, the same way I should say. So I put a crisscross part here because it's bob pins and it's fun. And I'm going to put two that way. There's really no wrong way to do this because it's a fun thing. It's not a, you can make it super glam if you want, you know, and wear it to a party, but make sure everything's like super parallel and stuff. But you can crisscross them too, that's really fun. So once I get like, I like these pieces to, you know, stand out that they're pinned and that's why I, I'll take the hairspray and either spray it first or spray it afterward. So it's like a light little separation there. So say, let's see, you just jazz it up. And um, say you want to do like something to the side. You're going to do like, say, a I don't know, a braid or something on this side here. A side braid. 
and just keep this part um, can be your bob pin designs let's see I want to do some crisscross ones so let's just make like I'm going to keep these two the same, the browns the same. Oh, that's not easy. Okay. You have to kind of work around it. And then you can get like a little crisscross and a mickey back. <laughs> no, um, crisscross. There you go. <clears throat> little mama from the train. <laughs> um, this part here. I'm going to switch into a pink one like this. And I'm going to do another X because I'm going to keep it double X. Like double X, the band. But I like that it repeats because it's kind of like I did this on purpose. And that's how you want to look, you know, like I did it on purpose. And that's just jazzing it up with some bob pins. But you could go nuts here. You could do this all the way like back. And like I have some bob pins left. I think that if you stay with the same pattern, it looks really cool. And if you're gonna change the pattern, it should flow. Like, how would I show that? Like maybe move it up an inch and echo this, echo the one behind it. So you move it up like that, and then you could change it to parallel, parallel like that. And then you could change it to just one.